that that's going to be really interesting to write about. I call my students English language artists because I want them to know that writing is an art form and I want them to explore it that way, take pride in how they reveal their style and how they express themselves in their work. At my school, I'm given permission to challenge the norms and think radically about the things that are important to me as an educator, which are access and inclusion. I was allowed to propose and show what happens when curriculum is approached from a special education and inclusion lens. We saw growth and confidence, especially. Students beginning to identify as readers and writers in ways that they hadn't felt before. And we all watched this data that had flatlined for a few years jump. That growth was shared with the students and it was celebrated. Here's the conifer chart you'll remember. Yeah, how many do you see? I have a, an amazing and supportive science department team. Um, so all of us are so committed to project-based learning and pushing our own work further in that realm. Because we're so fortunate to have the 200 acres of woodland behind our campus, we can really utilize that as a natural laboratory. And I've used that as a jumping off point for what projects we do in environmental science. Having a project-based learning and getting the students outside, they have a reason to, to wake up. They have to do something and take action. So I definitely see students engage more. Different students take leadership roles and will jump in um, and surprise me with their curiosity and their awakening to a greater awareness of what's around them. I want that to apply to their neighborhoods and communities and towns that they're coming from, that they feel like that's their world and their voice. My name is Michael Caban. I'm a teacher at Phoenix Charter Academy in Lawrence, Mass. And I've been there for three years. At Phoenix Academy, one of the greatest things that I fell in love with was from the leadership down, they really made it clear that they wanted me to truly be the person that I was because me being my authentic self for my students, it helps them understand that we come from very similar backgrounds. A lot of our students' struggles um, are the same struggles that I went through. Growing up in the inner city is hard. They don't have too many role models. But when I'm able to share my story with the students, they really understand that they have an opportunity now. And they start to have those conversations as to why they want to become teachers and why they want to become positive role models within the community. I knew I wanted to be a teacher because my own middle school experience was really tough for me. I didn't feel seen by the teachers and I didn't feel validated by the teachers. So I knew that what I wanted to do was get in the classroom to make an impact for kids so that they could build those relationships with me and know that they had a teacher in their corner, seeing them, pushing them, validating who they were. At the Renaissance, we work to create a culture of being seen and valued. You can look around the classroom and you see flags that are representative of the unique backgrounds of our students. And we are empowered at the Renaissance to bring these ideas and these thoughts into the classroom so our curriculum really addresses the unique needs of our learners. Students are feeling nurtured from the second they walk into the building till they graduate in sixth grade. This is great, I love it, my friend. Great job. I always believe in Mahatma Gandhi's quote, be the change you wish to see in the world. When I was growing up, I was really bad at math. I remember my teacher and we used to meet after school hours to work together. And that inspired me like one person can dedicate so much time out of the school and try to build that seed of knowledge and investment. I always tell my student when I look back that I was also like in your page, same shoes, but sometimes you have to believe in yourself and try to see the world from your teacher's eyes. And I think I'm so blessed and thankful to all my teachers. They truly believed in me. At my charter public school, I am part of a team that is student-centered. That loves their work. That cares about inclusion. At charter public school, I'm empowered to inspire others. I am able to be my authentic self. I am able to be my best because I am given every tool needed to help kids succeed. 
because I know I have the full support of my administrators and my colleagues. When I leave school every day, I know that I've tried something new. I know that I've given it my all. I love being a teacher at a charter public school. Because I get to question and rebel against the norms. Because we have the flexibility to do whatever it takes to get kids to succeed. I love being a teacher at charter public school because it prepares students for tomorrow's world.